Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Bloomhost tutorial video. Today we're taking a look at how to add subusers to your server's duck panel. Subusers are essentially additional users that you can add to your server's panel, and they can perform a different set of actions depending on the permissions that you give them. Each permission is linked to a certain function that DuckPanel has, for example, having access to console or having access to change files in the file manager, all different things like that. So this is in the users tab of DuckPanel. We don't have any sub users yet, but to create one, let's go over here to new user. And this is the GUI for creating a new sub user. And there are two parts to this. The first part, is the user email field. This will be the email that we enter that the sub user will use to access our server's duck panel. And then the second part is a long list of permissions. Each of these permissions are of course linked to a certain function that duck panel has. We won't go through these in detail, but they are categorized by the type of permission that they are. And there's also a pretty verbose description underneath every permission to get you acquainted with what the permission actually does. So for this, I'm going to use a dummy email account to show you what the sub user's experience looks like in terms of going through their process of setting things up. So I'm going to type diamondbackdoesthings at gmail.com. This is my burner. And then I'll just hit select all permissions. If you click this, you'll notice every permission in the list is highlighted. And I'm going to click invite user. Now we can see that Diamondback Does Things is in the sub user list. Over here we can see that they don't have two factor authentication on. This will change to a locked lock if they do. More on two factor authentication in a different video. This shows the number of permissions they have. If you want to change permissions, you can click this edit button and it'll open the GUI again. I'll just click save. And then here we can actually export permissions as a string. If you click on this, we can copy the permissions to the clipboard and we can import them here. This is very similar to exporting and importing schedule stuff. And it's mainly primarily useful for if you have a specific set of permissions that you want to give multiple sub users instead of going through the entire GUI and clicking all of the permissions meticulously, you can just export that specific set of permissions from one sub user and import them to another sub user. And then of course, if you want to delete the sub user, you can click this here and hit yes, remove sub user. So now we're going to head over to diamondbackdoesthings at gmail.com's inbox to show you what it looks like for the sub user to set up the rest of the information themselves. Okay, so now we're in the inbox of diamondbackdoesthings at gmail.com and you'll notice that there are two messages from Bloom that get sent to a sub user's inbox when you add their email to request them as a sub user. This top one here just says, hello, you've been added as a sub user to the following server. And then the other email that's really important is you have to configure a password to actually set up a Bloom sub user account so that you can actually go in DuckPanel and access the server. So if we click on configure a password here, now we're at a reset password window for Bloom. This isn't really resetting a password, it's more just creating an account for the sub user. So I'm just doing this on my end again, but your own sub users will do this on their end. With the given email that you gave the sub user, the sub user will then have to generate a new password and confirm it and then click reset password. And what this will allow the sub user to do will be to create a Bloom account that will allow them to log into your server's duck panel. So now that I, the sub user, have created a password, I have now created a DuckPanel account and it'll take me to the main my servers page in DuckPanel where I can see all the servers I have access to. For now it's just one, it's this test server I have going for this tutorial video. And if I click on it, as the sub user, I have full access to all permissions because I was given all permissions. There's one important thing too, is that there's a leave server button down here. And if I click this, you can remove yourself from the server as a sub user. So you don't actually have to have the owner of the server kick you themselves. You can actually just leave yourself if you so choose. If you leave, the owner has to re-invite you in order for you, the sub user, to access the server again. That is pretty much it for this Bloomhost tutorial video. Hopefully now you are an expert at how to add and manage sub users for your server's duck panel. If you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video, you can ask them either in the description below or you can join our Discord server, link in the description, and ask your questions there. 
There's also a playlist in the description for all the previously made Bloomhost tutorial videos if you want to look at anything else. And that is it! Thank you for choosing Bloomhost, and we'll see you in the next tutorial video.